A few years ago, England lost one of its greatest football players. He was known for scoring goals no matter where he was on the field. Today, we're going to tell you about Nat Lofthouse. We'll share the good times when he was a hero on the field, known as the Lion of Vienna, and how he became famous. But we'll also talk about the harder times he faced later in life with health problems. Come with us as we explore the story of Nat Lofthouse, a true football legend who showed bravery both in the game and in life. Nat Lofthouse was born on August 27, 1925 in Bolton, a town in the northwest of England known for its love of football. His family, like many in the area, didn't have a lot of money, but they were rich in love and support for one another. From a young age, Nat showed a real talent for football, often playing with whatever he could find that would roll, pretending it was a real ball. Bolton was a place where football was everywhere. People talked about it, played it and lived it. It was in this environment, full of enthusiasm for the game, that Nat's passion for football grew. His parents saw how much he loved playing and did all they could to encourage him, even when times were tough. As Nat grew up, he played for his school's football team, where he started to get noticed for his skill, especially his ability to score goals. He was more than just a good player. He was a team player, always working hard and showing dedication both in school and on the football field. The streets and fields of Bolton were Nat's first football pitches. Playing in neighbourhood games, he learned a lot about football and life, making friends and learning to be a part of a team. These early experiences, supported by his family and inspired by football heroes from his town, set Nat on the path to becoming one of the greatest footballers of his time. Nat Lofthouse's first steps into football weren't easy. He faced many challenges, like the tough physical nature of the game and the need to show everyone just how good he could be. Despite these obstacles, his love for football and his dream of playing professionally kept him going. Starting off in local teams, Nat quickly made a name for himself. He was known for his strong play and ability to score goals. But it wasn't just his talent that stood out. It was also his never-give-up attitude. Even when the games were hard or the other team was tough, Nat kept pushing forward, always trying to be the best player on the field. His hard work and dedication paid off when he caught the attention of Bolton Wanderers, the team he had always supported. Joining their youth setup was a big step for Nat. It meant he was closer to achieving his dream of playing professional football, but it also meant he had to work even harder. Now, he was not just playing in local games, he was training and competing with some of the best young players around. Nat's early days with Bolton Wanderers' youth team were a mix of excitement and hard work. He spent countless hours practicing, improving his skills, and learning everything he could about the game. This part of his journey showed just how much he wanted to succeed. He was determined to prove himself and make it to the professional level, no matter what challenges came his way. This determination and talent were what set Nat on the path to becoming a football legend. Nat Lofthouse's ascent from a hopeful young talent to a footballing legend began with his professional debut for Bolton Wanderers. This pivotal moment marked the start of an extraordinary journey. From his very first match, Nat's dedication, skill and innate goal-scoring ability were unmistakable. He quickly distinguished himself not just as a talented player, but as a true standout on the field, capable of changing the course of games with his decisive actions. In the early stages of his career with Bolton, Nat's impact was immediate and profound. His hard work, both in training and during matches, his ability to anticipate play and his knack for scoring critical goals rapidly elevated him to a key position within the team. Nat's unique combination of physical prowess, speed and a keen eye for goal set him apart, endearing him to fans and earning the respect of his peers. As time passed, Nat became more than just a valuable player. He evolved into a cornerstone of the team, renowned for his reliability and leadership. His contributions on the pitch were instrumental in leading Bolton to numerous victories, enhancing his reputation as a player of exceptional caliber. Nat's leadership qualities shone through in every match, inspiring his teammates and embodying the spirit of determination and resilience. Nat Lofthouse's journey with Bolton Wanderers was characterized by remarkable achievements and memorable moments that contributed to his rise to footballing prominence. He was not only a prolific goalscorer, but also a leader who played with passion and dedication. This period of his career solidified his status as a football icon, a player whose influence and legacy would resonate with fans and fellow players alike for generations to come. 
I'm unable to browse the web or access real-time information, so I can't provide new details beyond what's already included in our discussion or update the content with the latest web findings. However, I can certainly enrich the subjects with more detailed information based on existing knowledge up to my last update in April 2023. Nat Lofthouse's era might have been before the 1966 World Cup triumph, yet his legacy with the England national team is monumental. His international career, highlighted by scoring 30 goals in just 33 appearances, reflects a striker of exceptional talent and efficacy. Lofthouse's most celebrated international moment came in 1952, in a rugged match against Austria, where his fearless performance earned him the nickname the Lion of Vienna. Despite not participating in the 1966 World Cup, Lofthouse's influence on English football culture and his contributions on the international stage had already secured his status as a national hero, inspiring future generations of players with his resilience, skill and dedication to the sport. Over his storied career, Nat Lofthouse amassed an impressive array of highlights and achievements, both for club and country. At Bolton Wanderers, his staggering tally of 255 goals in 452 league appearances places him among the club's all-time greats. Perhaps the most memorable moment in Lofthouse's career was his legendary performance in the 1958 FA Cup final against Manchester United, where he scored both goals in Bolton's 2-0 victory. This match highlighted his incredible talent and fighting spirit, earning him a special place in the hearts of Bolton Wanderers supporters and football fans across the nation. Internationally, his consistent scoring record made him one of England's most prolific strikers of his era. Beyond the pitch, Lofthouse's dedication to Bolton Wanderers continued post-retirement, serving in various roles, including manager and president, further cementing his lifelong bond with the club. Nat Lofthouse's remarkable career was recognised with numerous awards and honours, celebrating his indelible impact on football. Notably, his contributions were formally acknowledged when he was appointed an Officer of the Order of the British Empire, OBE, for his services to the sport. Additionally, his induction into the English Football Hall of Fame stands as a testament to his enduring legacy and the high esteem in which he is held within the football community. These accolades, along with the affection and respect of fans and peers, highlight Lofthouse's exceptional career and lasting influence on English football, affirming his status as one of the game's true greats. Nat Lofthouse's journey in football was a blend of triumphs and trials, shaping him into an enduring icon of the sport. Playing in an era when football was notably more physical, Lofthouse, renowned for his strength and bravery, often endured tough tackles and challenges on the field. Despite this, his skill in scoring, particularly in critical moments, set him apart. A highlight of Lofthouse's career was the 1958 FA Cup final against Manchester United, where his memorable performance, including a controversial goal, underscored his tenacity and skill. This incident, where Lofthouse collided with United's goalkeeper Harry Gregg, sparked debates but also showcased his unwavering commitment to the game. Lofthouse's journey wasn't without its physical tolls, facing injuries that tested his resilience. His ability to recover and return to top form demonstrated his mental and physical fortitude. Transitioning from a celebrated player to various off-the-pitch roles at Bolton Wanderers, Lofthouse showed his versatile commitment to the club he loved. From his early days signing with Bolton Wanderers to becoming a national hero with England, Lofthouse's career was marked by memorable moments that defined his legacy. His Lion of Vienna title from a brave performance against Austria in 1952 became synonymous with his legacy, a testament to his courage and skill. After retiring, Lofthouse continued to influence football, taking on roles from management to punditry, always providing insightful and experienced perspectives on the game. His most enduring role, however, was as a mentor and ambassador for Bolton Wanderers, where he remained deeply involved, serving as a club president and becoming a symbol of the club's heritage. Nat Lofthouse's legacy in football is rich and multifaceted. As a player, he was celebrated for his goal-scoring prowess and spirit. Post-retirement, he became a mentor and ambassador, influencing the sport with his knowledge and passion. His contributions to football, marked by determination, skill and a deep love for the game, cemented his status as a true icon of English football. Nat Lofthouse was not just a football star, he was also a loving family man and a valued member of his community. Besides playing football, he enjoyed simple things like going for walks in nature and spending time with his family. These personal interests showed that despite his fame, 
He was a down-to-earth and humble person. As he got older, Lofthouse faced tough health problems, especially dementia, a condition that affects how you remember things and think. This made people think about the possible health problems that come from playing football, especially those affecting the brain. Lofthouse's struggles with dementia, along with other football heroes like Nobby Stiles, who also had dementia and cancer, made people talk more about the health risks of playing football for a long time. Because of these stories, people are asking football leaders to do something. They want better help for former players who have health problems and more research to make football safer for players. This means not just looking at dementia, but also other serious illnesses like cancer. It's about making sure that football cares about the health of players, even after they stop playing. Nat Lofthouse's influence on English football is immense. His strong character and leadership qualities, both on and off the field, have left a lasting impression. Whether playing for Bolton Wanderers or representing England, Lofthouse's impact resonates with fans of all ages. Additionally, his battle with dementia has brought attention to the importance of player welfare, sparking important discussions about safety in football. Lofthouse's story reminds us of the profound impact football legends can have and the ongoing need to prioritise players' health and well-being.